Hey guys, so this is going to be a little bit different from my normal videos, um, and I'm making this video more for me, kind of to like look back in the future, just to like kind of relive this experience, and that kind of stuff. But today I'm going to be moving into college, which is crazy. <laughs> um, so as you know, I live in Rhode Island, um, it's a beautiful place here, I've loved it here, I've lived here all my life, um, but I'm going to be going to school in Vermont. Uh, the school I'm going to is called Northern Vermont University, which is like near the New Hampshire border. So it's like on the eastern side of Vermont. Um, it's about maybe four to four and a half hours away from here. Um, but it is Friday, August 20th. Um, it's about 2.30. Or actually, no, I think it's about three o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> but we have to get up there for eight. So we're going to be leaving soon. Um, and yeah, so I'm not going to be filming a whole lot, but I figured I kind of want to just show the experience of like getting up there and kind of like almost doing like a dorm tour, like what my dorm is going to end up looking like. And it's also, from my understanding, going to be more of like sweet style living, not necessarily like a dorm, um, which is going to be really cool. So it's like a smaller building, not as many people. Um, and it almost is going to feel like a big house versus anything else. Um, so I'm excited. Okay. So it is actually a few days later. Um, I moved in Friday and it is Sunday. Just wanted to give myself a couple days to kind of get settled and um, I kind of wanted to just make this video as like what my dorm room looks like um, so that way I could show you guys just so you could see like you know what the living experience is like and that kind of stuff um, and also so I can show you my grow light because that's the only plant related thing about this video <laughs> um, but I it took me a couple days to kind of get everything in order and get everything settled but I feel pretty good I feel pretty organized now so I feel ready to show you guys. <laughs> so you can see right behind me, I have the back door here. Um, I also have like a stand up mirror there. So it's nice like when I'm getting ready and all that kind of stuff. And then right here, I also have um, just like a nice whiteboard that I can have, which actually had a really hard time sticking to the wall, but I think it's okay now. Um, so just like to write some things on there. If I need to quickly write something or something I need to see all the time, it's nice to write it on there. Okay, so those two things were there, but I didn't want to talk with stuff behind me the whole time. I have this lamp here, although I actually forgot light bulbs. Um, so I'm gonna have to order some online and then I can just have them shipped here. So I have that. I just have some hooks up here, which I hang like my towels on and other like the keys, that kind of stuff on there. Um, trash there. I have this big dresser type of thing up here. And I have a lot of like, like snacks and food stored up there. Um, I have shirts and shorts. And then in here, there's a decent amount of room. So I have my sweatshirts here, my toiletry bag, I have a small vacuum in there, and then all my different hats and that kind of stuff. So this is a nice little space just right over here. And then here's the other area. I realize it's probably a little easier so that way you could see the whole room this way to just have it zoomed out. Um, but I actually brought a TV and then my little Apple TV there just to watch things like Netflix or YouTube or that kind of stuff on there. Um, I have three other drawers here that's for the rest of my clothes. And then I have my desk over here. So um, I have a number of things on it. They don't allow candles or anything, but I have a um, essential oil diffuser right there. Um, and then just some other stuff like for my contacts and everything. Um, there's a drawer that pulls out over here. So this is pretty nice to have that. And then there's just some little storage areas in that bottom space. This is my um, <laughs> view. It's a little skinny window, but I do get some pretty good views out here. So and maybe you can kind of see a little bit better there. So there's this kind of weird area, like right here for some reason, where there's like nothing there, but it's just like on the top of a ledge. Uh, but you can see there's a mountain in the background. That's actually um, Mount Burke. And then there's some pine trees and everything, but I'll get away from that fan. Then over here, I have a little mini fridge and freezer um, where I just keep like a thing of water in, which is really nice to have. So I can filter off the water as well as some other stuff like to make coffee in the morning. I have creamer and everything. Um, I have a little mini Keurig container. And then also um, I have this little reusable coffee pod, which is nice. So I don't have to um, use a K-cup every time, but I can just um, reuse that every time. And then it's less waste. Um, I have a little mini fan. It's been a little warm here. It's been like low 80s with um, humidity. Although actually it's been more high 80s the last couple days. Today's not too hot, um, but even in Vermont, it does get pretty hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have a microwave up here. I have like chargers and other little storage areas that hang off the side of here. And then I have my bed here. So it's a twin extra long, but it's not um, like super big. Like it's kind of skinny, but it's definitely long enough 
for me, which is good. So I fit perfectly on it. Um, I have some lights here, which I actually don't have on. So this is what they look like. Definitely adds a lot to the room. Um, and then I have a uh, little, can't think of what it's called, but um, I have this up here um, of like the world, which is really cool. And then on the other side, I forgot to show this before, but I have a map of um, Joshua Tree National Park. So it's cool to see that there. I should definitely add a couple more things to this wall, but it's nice to have that at least. Um, and then under my bed, I just have plenty of storage area. So I have like my shoes, my hamper. Um, that's the box that I had a lot of stuff in. So it's just nice to have some storage down there. And that's pretty much it because we're back to the beginning. Okay, I just remembered. That is called a tapestry. That's what it is. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, so it's actually sweet style living here. It's not like a dorm room type of thing. And I actually was going to be in a double room. Um, but with COVID and all that kind of stuff, it, um, they, I could have like been in a room by myself, but still paid what the double fee was, if that makes sense. Like you pay to live like with a roommate. So it's cheaper than just living in a single, but, um, just with a lot of COVID stuff and everything, they ended up putting me in a single just cause that's how it was going to be. And it's fine. Like it's, it's totally fine by me. Um, but I'm in a suite with, I think one, two, three, four, five other rooms. So there's six rooms total and we all share one bathroom. Um, but it's plenty big enough and it's nice and everything. So I'm not super concerned about that. Um, but definitely interesting. Um, but I've been, you know, just trying to get used to it the last couple days and it's been pretty good. And I wanted to save this for last, just so that way I could kind of talk about this at the end. So obviously I kind of quickly went over it, but I just wanted to show you what plants I ended up bringing up. So this is the video, um, or not the video, but this is the grow light that I made a video on. Um, I'll link that in the description if you want to watch me like unbox that when I first got it. But I specifically wanted to get this um, grow light because I wanted to be able to bring it up to college with me. Um, because it's nice and small. It's actually, it. I don't know if it's called a compact tabletop grow light, but it definitely is meant to go on a table. Uh, which is awesome. So I have my little succulent container in the back over here. I'm gonna move one of these out of the way. Um, I just have two little succulents and this one has grown quite a bit, but it wasn't as big as the other two before. Um, and then I have, it's either a Christmas or Easter cactus. So it's not blooming right now, but it will be blooming at some point. Um, so I have that back there. This one has like nice pink flowers on it. This is the plant that I got from California. Um, I just put it in a new pot, which this is actually a really cool pot. Um, and it's definitely bounced back really, really well, which is awesome. This is the spotted calancho. Um, so it's been loving its life here. It's nice and thick again, because it was feeling like pretty soft when I first brought it home. And then this plant right here, I'm actually not entirely sure what the name of it is, um, but it's something. This plant I ended up getting from actually another senior at my high school. Um, we did this like senior gift type of thing. And there is this tag on it, but it doesn't specifically say what plant it is. It just says like care instructions and that kind of stuff. So anyways, I have four, three, four of these things. Um, but then I also have these two things, which I'm going to be making um, probably individual videos on. So I could just do one thing at a time. But these are two things that I got when I got when I went on my trip to uh, California. So there's a grow your own giant Joshua tree. And then this is also the coast redwood. So they're both seed starting kits, but I figured that'd be perfect to have them um, in this little grow light. So anyways, um, stay tuned for videos in the future that I'll be making on these. Um, this one, I think I need to refrigerate for a few weeks, um, to give it like a cold, um, stratification period. Um, if that's the right word to use. Um, so this, I might not like, you might not see a video on that anytime soon, but this I might try to start doing sooner rather than later. I just have to read the stuff first on it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any other questions or want me to do anything else on campus, um, or like, you know, make any other types of videos, definitely uh, feel free to let me know. I did want to say that there are a few more videos that I did make before coming up here. Um, that was stuff that I ended up doing at home. I'm going to put this video out first. So you'll see this video go up, but then you will see some other videos of me like back at home again. Um, but it's just because I'd rather put this up so that way you kind of know like what's happening and that kind of stuff. Um, and it, the other things weren't like, they didn't need to go out right away, but I still want to show you guys what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so besides that, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's different than my normal stuff. It might be kind of different for a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what types of videos I'm making besides like that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to try to keep it more plant oriented, but I don't know, maybe it'll be kind of like a vlog type of thing. We'll kind of see what happens. Um, but yeah, besides that, I will see you guys in the next video.